Hey, do you want to learn how to set up and pair Amazfit BIP6 to your mobile? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've got this mobile here and I'm going to open the Play Store because I'm on Android mobile. If you've got an iPhone, you can go to App Store and you can search for the Zep app. Now you're going to find the Zep app here. You need to install it. So I'm going to open it up. Now on it, you need to sign up for an account. I have signed up with Google. So I'm going to click on login here. And there you go. Now it's going to give you this complete profile section. You need to enter in your name, date of birth, metric, height, and weight. So select it and press on OK. So then select your date of birth. Once you've done that, press on OK again. Now you've got height and weight. You need to select this correctly. Press on save again. Now press on done. Now here it says health connect. Skip that part. And now it's going to give you select devices to pair. I'm going to select this watch here. For Android OS, you must allow the app to access Bluetooth's permission. So you're going to say, got it, then allow it, got it. And then take pictures and record videos. We are going to say while using this app. Now it's going to open the camera on your mobile. Let's turn on our smartwatch and you're going to find the QR code, scan it, and it's going to connect it to your mobile. Now it gives you a Bluetooth pairing number on your smartwatch. And it also gives you that same number on your mobile. Just click on pair. Now it says Amaze Fit BIP6 will be paired with Zep app. I'm going to press on this tick mark. And now it's currently pairing. And it says that our BIP6 is paired successfully. It also shows us here device initialization is complete on our mobile. So let's press on next. Enable notification access. Let's press on enable here. Now in notification access, you need to scroll down till you find Zep app and then press here to toggle it. Allow. Go back and turn on Bluetooth calls as well. Press on allow and allow. Keep allowing it. Then press enable for contacts as well. Allow for sending. Calendar sync. Allow again. Location while using the app. We can skip it if you want, but I'm going to allow it. Enable app background activity permissions. Go in settings. And here you're going to find battery optimization whitelist. Let's enable it. Allow it. Let's go back here. Now it says select button position. So it depends on where you're wearing the watch. If you're wearing it on right hand side, then you can say button on right or button on left. For me, it's going to be on the right hand side over here, right hand side. So I'm going to press on next. Now it says swipe down the watch face to view the control center, swipe to view notifications. Got it. And your device is now ready. You can see your device charging here. You can change the watch faces, your app store, your workout settings here. You've got the Zev flow inside, which is the AI that's built in the watch. And you've got Aura, which is going to help you with your personal wellness. It's basically a personal wellness assistant. There's an update available if you want to update your watch. There's health monitor and a lot more. There's find device, deactivate device, unpair, and such. I'm going to make more videos on Amazfit BIP6 on how to change the settings, reset it, change watch face, how to download the GPX maps offline in it, and a lot more. You can find the playlist of all the videos on Amazfit BIP6 on the right hand side. So see you there and bye for now.